Hi everyone and welcome to TWF Power. I am Michael Cole here with Gene Oakland and Wonder Woman. And today we got Diva Talks here. First off, I'm going to have a signing, a sheet writing between Queenling Jasmine and Seth Rollins. Now, you might have to sit there because you can't stand up on your own even when you had your shoes and Seth Rollins now Diva Talk says I am sure that you two have looked over the sheet I'm sure you had any law men or law woman look over the sheet too and tell you uh, things well first off Seth Rollins says this is the first time I have ever been going to fight for the TWF, um, fight for the world heavyweight winnings. Now, even though I wish it would have been for the heavyweight, but beggars cannot be choosers, right? If you're asking for something and you get it, then it is what it is. <clears throat> well, yes, Jasmine said, I guess that is true. But let's look at everything we got going here. Okay. Brock Lesnar doesn't like to wrestle all the way. He doesn't like to wrestle at all the time. And after him fighting Ashley Williams about three times and having a run-in with Bobby Lashley, I could see why he wouldn't be here. But unlike Brock Lesnar, I'm always here for a fight, Queenling Jasmine. I'm, a, I'm here for a fight, Jasmine says, and you know I am. So, Seth Rollins, I know about you. I know about your days in the shield. I know about everything you've done. I know about how you at least won the Allegheny Earldom winnings more than once. So I do know all about that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. All right. I wrote my name down, but I hardly doubt that at the end of the day, I don't really believe you're going to beat me. Well, I like to say the way that this is going, Seth Rollins says. I like to say it, but I think I can beat you. I know you're going to put up a big fight, Jasmine. You wouldn't have won the heavyweight winnings more than once if you didn't put up a big fight. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, me and you are going to have a fight. Either it's going to happen, either at... Christmas Chaos, NXT, or Holiday Hell, Dynamite. Well, I do know that we're going to have a fight. And I know we're going to burn it burn it down. So here, I wrote my name down too. Well, there you got it, Diva Talk says. You have it right now. We will have Queenling, Queenling, Queenling Jasmine fight Seth Rollins. For the, Tita, for the World Heavyweight Winnings. Well, Michael Cole said, the first time both folks actually wrote something on his sheet and it didn't go badly. Yeah, that's right. Gene Oakland says, you're right about that, Michael Cole. At least these two ain't going to fight. They're going to keep it until the day. And I think they are going to keep it until the day. Uh, I think they are going to keep it for the day. Uh... When a day comes. At least that's what you believe. Well, hopefully they hopefully those two sides don't fight, Wonder Woman says, until the day that they have to fight. Yes, you are right about that one, Michael Cole said, Wonder Woman, you are right. Let's hope that Jasmine and Seth Rollins don't fight until the day they got to fight. Yeah, that's right, Michael Coles. You read about that, Gene Oakland said, Michael Cole. Let's just hope that it happens the way it's going to happen. Well, apparently now we have Santa Claus. I want to wish everybody a happy or, or Jesus birthday. And I don't want to leave anyone else out that may not celebrate may not do Christmas or your or Jesus' birthday since Christ is a Greek bar word and Mass is a Spanish bar word, most likely a Latin bar word. 
anyone doesn't do Jesus' birthday, I want to wish all you Jews a happy Hanukkah. I know that's a Hebrew borrowed word, learned word. It would be the great, it would be the, it would be the gathering of lights. And wish everyone a happy Kwanzaa, even though I don't know what borrowed word that came from, but I assure you it's a borrowed word. And whatever dim most likely is either an Arabic borrowed word or a Farsi or a Romi borrowed word or even a Turkish or a Hebrew or Arabic or a Egyptian or a Libyan or a Phoenician um, bar word of some kind, but wish all, I have, wish all you Muslims have revered them too. Now, well, Santa Claus, I know the first time we met Bray Wyatt says, I was asked to leave the ring, only this time. I don't think I'm going to be leaving. You see, I have this house. It's called the Firefly Fun House. And it's where me and all my friends have all this fun. I know all about your house. And this fun you claim that you say everyone has. I know that you have got this evil side you call a fiend. But it's really you going around beating up on everyone. And being bad. And you claim to be a good thing. But it's a lie, you know. You claim it was a good thing that Kurt Angle, Mick Foley, Jerry Lawler, Kang, Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, and Finn Bauer, and he's in Daniel Bryan all got beat up. You claim the fiend was good, but the truth is he's not. And I do know you've been a bad boy, Bray Wyatt. I know that you've done a lot of bad things. Maybe there was a time where you were good, but now you're not. Santa, I have always still had evil inside of me. Santa, the only times I was ever truly good. You see, see, Woken Matt Hardy, or should I say Broken Matt Hardy, and even The Undertaker fought they had beaten me. They fought they had taken my connection from my evil side away from me. But that was not true. And now, Santa, I want to put you on a hall of friendship. You ain't doing shit, Bray Wyatt. I'm going to tell you right now. You want to fight someone, why don't you come fight me? Hey, that's Ashley Williams, the head overseer, Michael Cole says. Yeah, we'll see him. We'll see what Bray Wyatt does to him, Gene Oakland says. He can't even stand up in the ring. That's how fuck, how bad it is. How fucked up it is, Wonder Woman says. Sad for saying that, but it is true. Blame it on wafelness, I guess. Um, so, Bray Wyatt, you talk about how you like to fight everyone, and you did this, and you did that. Well, you never fought me before. So, you gonna go, and you wanna fight Santa Claus? You wanna do the Santa Claus? What you did to Finn Bauer, Mick Foley, Jerry Lawler, Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, Kang, Seth Rollins, Finn Bauer, and Daniel Bryan. Well, what you've done everyone in the WWE, what you do in TWF, why don't you fight me? Look, Santa will be in your corner for Santa thinks that this isn't right, actually, Williams. But thank you for coming to help me out. You see, Bray Wyatt's been a bad boy. Santa, you might have to get out of here. All right, I'll do that. Well, Santa Claus getting out of the ring now, Michael Cole says. That is a really good thing, Gene Oakland said, that Santa Claus got out of the ring. Who knows what this fucker Bray Wyatt was going to do, Wonder Woman says. Because that's what he is. I mean, he is. We got a fight lore in the ring now. Oh, I... Do say, Ashley Williams, let me have a fight with you. You know, I know all about everything you did, an evil dead and army of darkness. I know what you did in the in the uh, evil dead funny books and the evil dead stream games. And I know what you did on Ash vs. Evil Dead. But why can't we just be friends? I like to make friendships of everyone. 
All you gotta do is let me in. Oh, ding, ding, ding. No, I don't think so. Ring the bell. And right now, Ashley Williams fighting Bray Wyatt. We haven't seen Bray Wyatt in some time here, Michael Cole says. No, we have not, Gene Oakland says. Bray Wyatt's got a new shirt on, of course. A new updated Bray Wyatt. Not the way he is now, but prior before that. Oh, and Ashley Williams right now. Is close locking down Bray Wyatt. Michael Cole said, yeah, Gene Oakland said, Bray Wyatt hasn't been seen in some time. And Ashley Williams took him outside now. Start tracking him out. One, two, three, four. Oh, Ashley Williams just missed. And Bray Wyatt, oh. What the hell was that all about? Ashley Williams just tripped on some Bray Wyatt. Oh. Five, six, seven. Eight. And now Bray Wyatt throwing him back into the ring. Michael Cole says, what is threw him right back in the ring? What happened? Gene Oakland said, how did Ashley Williams trip and fall down like that? Gene Oakland said, I don't know. Michael Cole says, I truly don't know. Look, I don't know. Wonder Woman says, but I do know that worked to help Bray Wyatt out. And now that one hand stiff and hasn't moved in a while. So, oh. Wait a minute. He's going to do it. Sister Abigail. Oh. Is he going to do this here? One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. Wait a minute. Now he's manable clawing him and laughing about it, too. <laughs> What's all this all about? Bray Wyatt now started a new fight, his new foe, Ashley Williams here. And I wonder if anyone is going to speak, is going to even talk with him to see what's going on. Michael Cole says, yeah, I hope so. I want to know. My, uh, Gene Oakland said, what's going on here? My, Michael Cole, why Bray Wyatt started a fight with Ashley Williams? Well, I do know one thing, Wonder Woman says. I do know one thing. Apparently, I do know this one thing that may or may not happen, Wonder Woman says. Is this is some evil, the Bray Wyatt, the evildoer, and one has to watch out for him when one is having any dealings with him. Well, I do understand now that Renee Young now is going to now speak with uh, Bray Wyatt and seek out speak with him and see what's going he's going to speak with Ashley Williams and see if he is it uh, and see what's going on well okay Renee Young all right Ashley Williams I'm here with Ashley Williams here after his fight with Bray Wyatt Ashley Williams I understand that Bray I understand that Bray Wyatt has now picked you as a new man that he wants to fight against. First off, Renee Young, he picked me, he chose me. I stood up for Santa Claus, and then this jerk comes at me. But I have dealt with all kinds of jerks over my time. So I know how to deal with evildoers. So Bray Wyatt likes to, uh, thinks that he's, He's this good man, and he's going to claim that he's got this Firefly Fun, this Firefly Funhouse, and claims he's saying he's doing all this good, but he's not. He isn't doing any good. He's an evildoer, and he picked the wrong man to start shit with. And yes, he did start shit with me. What's not lying about it? He did. All right. So if we already know. The two fights that might be happening, we do know that Seth Rollins and Jasmine meeting for Holiday Hell, and Becky Lynch and Taylor Erigan for for a Christmas cast. Well, I got one. Me and Bray Wyatt can fight on one of those two shows. You want to ever fight with me, Bray Wyatt? Well, it's coming. Either Christmas Chaos or Holiday Hell. One of the two. I'll get my hands on you.
He goes, do, do, we hope you come to our house. We hope you have a friendship. We, oh, first off, Ashley Williams, you're being a jerk. I beat you, and you still want to play with me. I don't know if I truly want to be playing with someone like you, who is a jerk, but hey, sometimes in life, you got you to do things you don't want to do. So, if you want to fight me, Ashley Williams, that's good. Just remember, you made a pick to let me in. We hope like you being a friend. And this is where friendship never ends. Do, 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 do. So, playing more shitty, playing, playing some mind games. Uh, br uh, wait, Bray Wyatt. I know where your fire, your Firefly Funhouse is, and I'm going to come, and you're not going to like it. Well, Ashley Williams having his hang-up with Bray Wyatt. Back to you, Michael Cole. All right, thank you. Thank you, Gino. Thank you, Michael Cole says. Apparently, it's on. Ashley Williams and Bray Wyatt are going to be fighting again, Michael Cole says. Yes, they are, Gene Oakland says, and only time will tell when they're going to fight again. Well, I know one thing Wonder Woman says, when these two meet, it is not going to be good. Well, that is all the time we have here for, X for Power. I'm Michael Cole for Gene Oakland and Wonder Woman. We hope you like Power, and we'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw.